Do you have someone in your life that you feel like you're always debating with? Like, you have your opinion, they have their opinion, and the two of you will duke it out with your words until one of you feels like you've won. For me, that person was my old college roommate. We would always argue about what we thought was the greatest. Who was the greatest basketball team? What was the greatest movie of all time? What's the greatest restaurant ever? And on and on and on. And I think it's fair to say that the things we think are the greatest are the things that we're for. They're the things that we're a fan of, and that's why we think that they're the greatest. And likewise, if we knew that something or someone was against us, we would never think that that thing was the greatest. And don't we sometimes feel that way about God as well? You may not be willing to admit it, but there are times when we are unsure if God is for me or, or is he against me. And this is especially true because we know that there are things that God is against, and we know that sometimes we do those things that God is against. And because we do those things that God's against, we may start to believe that God is not for us, but actually against us. And that's simply not true. One of many reasons why God sent his son Jesus to earth was to show us what he was like. God wanted to give us a very clear image of the things he valued, the things that he was for, and the things he was against. And there's a scene in the book of Matthew that opens up with someone asking Jesus about what he thought was important, what mattered to him. And not just that, this person asked Jesus what he thought the most important thing was. Listen to how this goes down in Matthew. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. What Jesus says here is that the most important things to him are you and your relationship with God and other people. Someone literally came up to him and asked him, Jesus, what matters most to you? And he said, loving God and loving people. And guess what? You're a person and I'm a person. See, despite what some people might say, God is not an against God. And the things that God is for, he thinks are the greatest. The things that God is for are the things he believes are worth pursuing and chasing after. And that's you and that's me. The bottom line is God is for you, period. That means even when you're in trouble, God's for you. Even when you get bullied, God's for you. Even when your family seems to be falling apart, God is for you. No matter what, he's for you. And I'm excited for you to explore this truth even more in your life groups, which you are now dismissed to go back to.